roll bars and roll cages, part of a safety system that is meant to protect you in the event of a rollover or a collision on the track. But are they safe on the street too? Is it even worth the money and extra weight? We're gonna talk about roll cages and roll bars today, and we're gonna find out whether you should get one for your car or not. This is MZ, let's get rolling, babe. The main point of a roll cage or a roll bar is rollover protection. Of course, you can do your best to prevent it from happening in the first place, but you wanna be able to walk out of it alive if it does happen, especially if you're gonna track the car. Like look at this Miata. You really think I'm gonna survive a rollover in this thing? <laughs> Absolutely not, not even a chance. But aside from the safety factor, roll cages and roll bars also stiffen your chassis, which means a more precise and predictable handling. Now, so far you've heard me say roll bars and roll cages. Some people even use these terms interchangeably. Don't use them interchangeably, there are two different things. A roll bar has a main hoop that looks like an upside down U and it runs along the B pillar and the roof line. And you usually have a harness bar attached to it. That's where you wrap or attach your harnesses to. There are also two bars that run to the back of the car so the main hoop doesn't just fold over. Now this would be a four point roll bar because it attaches to the chassis in four locations. You can also have diagonal door bars that run to the front of the car for additional protection and stiffness. This would be a six point roll bar. Still not a roll cage because in a roll cage, you have tubes that extend from the main hoop along the top of the door opening and down the A pillar. There's also a tube across the top of the windshield. This is a roll cage. You can get roll bars and roll cages custom made by a skilled fabricator or welder, but it's usually cheaper to buy one off the shelf that was designed and made for your car. Some of them are designed to be permanently welded into the chassis, but you can get ones that bolt into your chassis. These are usually much simpler to install because there's no welding involved. And it's something you could do in your garage or driveway with simple tools. Okay, now you know the difference between a roll cage and a roll bar, and you've decided that, you know what? I'm gonna go for it. But which one should you go for? Well, let's break it down. The roll cage gives you the most protection and chassis stiffness, but it's more expensive and it's harder to install. It's also heavier than a roll bar. They are also not street friendly at all. Listen, what makes the roll cage safer on the track actually makes it very dangerous on the street because on the track, you're gonna be wearing a helmet. A simple fender render on the street though, you might be bouncing your head off those uh, thick metal pipes. Oh. Especially in a tight sports car, these tubes are going to be literally a few inches away from your skull. So if you're gonna drive your car on the street at all, a roll bar is a great compromise. It'll give you adequate protection and chassis stiffness while being safe on the street and easier to live with. And since this Miata is gonna be driven both on the track and on the street, I went with a bolt-in roll bar. So it should be pretty easy to install too.
There you go. Roll bar is installed. Told you it's gonna be easy. So yes, we did just add a whole bunch of weight, but listen, the added safety and chassis stiffness, which you can actually feel, I think it's worth it. Not to mention the looks. I think it actually looks better too. Now the roll bar is only one part of a safety system. You're gonna need proper bucket seats and harnesses to keep you in place. And that's exactly what we're gonna do next, which I'm actually genuinely excited for. But that's it for this video. And hey, thanks for watching.